Hey guys, I'm coming to you with another video from the Big NM with a new invention by my company, the Hedrick Industries Multi Door. The definition of the multi door: a one door, not this door, but that door in there, that will take you to four different destinations with one door. Interesting, huh? Well, also this wither. Three wither skeleton skulls, perfect wither body, so close yet so far, isn't it? I think that's hilarious. Um, we have the reset line. This one takes you to the library. This one takes you to the living room, the bedroom, the laboratory, and this button opens the door. It's a simple piston door. Five second piston door. Pretty simple concept. Button goes in, it opens, button goes out, it closes. So, let me show you how it works. Let's pick one. Let's see library, <gasps> living room. I just took a nap. Bedroom. Why would I go in a bedroom? I always just sleep on the couch. Laboratory. That's interesting. Shabam. Like my laboratory. I got my reading area, my champ table, brewing stand. Oh, yeah. Got my eternal water. Fungus watching. The most amazing sport ever. Watch fungus for hours on end. And then I get to just throw potions of harming at this guy. Uh, it's cool, he's made a test subject. Also, I like throwing the potion of invisibility on him, it's so cool. Oh. Hey, he's a leather worker. Sweet. What did that fence post right there? Dang it. There we go. Stupid potion. Sweet, huh? Invisible villager. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's see. All right, we're back at the multi-door entrance. As you just saw the flame, I disappeared. Now, same door. I can show you, it's the same exact freaking door. Same exact door. So let's see, this time let's do library. I'm trying to do it with this weird thing where it makes your mouse disappear. It's really cool. I, I, I just want to see it, if I could do it. There we go. Same door, same corridor, different room. Oh, funniest frickin' sign ever. Read, or else. Then a picture of a guy with his chopped off. Awesome. Yeah, put that in a library. That'll really v motivate a lot of people to read. And it's hard to get me to read. I disappear in a flame. As you can see again, same door hasn't changed position I haven't changed anything I'm feeling like going to the living room open door
At least I have a little lag. I got kind of this 80s look in it. What? What? And if you think this room looks cool, I got it from a design in Times Magazine called The Mystery of Minecraft. It showed you about Minecraft. So. Once again, I will disappear in a flame. Okay, I'm not going to leave you guys waiting any longer. I know you want to see how this works. So, I'm just going to show you. Oh, it's so colorful. Yeah. So, if you hadn't noticed already, um, you can see I've been using some set block and some teleportation. That's never good. It's never a good combination, unless if you're making this. And if you s remember the color of the buttons, yes, they do match the paths. So it's way easier to remember. You see everything but the default line, which is that diamond one. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you how this works from the inside, and how this works on the outside. So, here it is. You push the buttons to activate the stuff on the outside, and when it teleports you, it detects what your answer was with this tripwire right here. Pretty simple tripwire. Oh man, I missed the door. Stupid door. Well, it's not a stupid door. It's actually a really cool door, but... Yeah. Um, if you notice I didn't use the reset line, I'll explain the reset line later. Now, if you were going to make this chain, is what you'd use the reset line for. So, step one on how I'm going to explain this. You push the buttons to start out with, uh, is what these things are for. This is the door. The blue is the door. The red is the reset line. The the diamond is the default line, and these are all and these are the second stage of the four buttons. As you see, there's a gap, so they cannot get to the command block. Why is the tripwire still on? Why is the tripwire still on? One second. What the heck? The tripwire's on. Mystery. It is like mystery. Oh, stupid orange wool. Ah, oh, seriously? Well, those orange wolves will get you. Anything can activate it. It's a good thing I didn't push a button. So, I'm going to explain it from the beginning. When you press a button, you're requesting where you want to go. And by activating the tripwire, it activates the default line, which activates all four of those lines over there. This is going to teleport, or going to set block, one redstone wire into the opening of your choosing. Library, laboratory living room bedroom and when you press this that turns off the redstone torch turning this stuff off pulling back the pistons and turning on the door and the default line works it and you don't use it it can reset itself as if when you activate the default line, it does activate the piston by itself. And push that up, of course, redstone on a moving block just turns into that. That's why you see so many of those around here. But if, like, you wanted to choose laboratory, but you accidentally pushed living room, press the reset line, so you wouldn't have to go all the way to the laboratory then go back to the living room and it's just really complicated so that's only if you ha don't want to teleport there 
Uh, so it self resets itself unless if you want to do it. So you're probably wondering where it teleports you to. Well, that's pretty simple. I have made three exact replicas of the fuselage of it. It goes down, and this time the rooms are bigger, but I'm going to show you that there actually is no room. I made a super long corridor and then a turn so you wouldn't be able to see what the room looks like. So you do not know that it's switching. Pretty... It sounds really complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. And it looks pretty cool because it's color-coded. Color-coding makes everything look better. Future reference. Just so you know. So I'm going to show you each one of these at work. This is the reset line. It pushes all four of those up. And then they all go down. Just like that. Let's go to the laboratory. Stoop door. As you see, now the laboratory switch is filled in. See, that turns off the redstone torch, and then when the button goes back, it turns the redstone torch back on, and closing the door. And I'm just gonna throw something on the teleportation thing. Yeah. I really hope that landed in the right place. Ugh. Stupid tripwire. Activates the default line from there and only activates that and it self resets itself. So that's all I'm gonna tell you for today. I'm Knuckle Rain Minecraft. This is the Hedrick Industries multi door. Have a good day. My next video will be Minecraft Escalators, and those can be used for many situations. It is another alternative to the elevator, but for now, I'm going to leave it a secret, so it's a really bad secret, but it's a secret. So, have a good day. Bye.